Okay guys, today's the day. Today's the day. We are going into the water. Ready or not, here we go. Oh my God. Bye. This was the moment we'd been anticipating for four long months. We tackled an insane amount of projects in the boatyard. Almost every major system on Delos got an overhaul. But along with the huge relief that came from having all the hard work behind us and the open ocean ahead of us, there's also that feeling of doubt at the start of every big adventure. I'm, I'm ready. The um. boat, I don't know. <laughs> we did so much work on so many systems, like all the salt water, like distribution manifold, the through hole, so the transmission, the electrical system, the water maker, and I just, I have a feeling there's gonna be a few issues. Our plan was to sail south towards La Paz, where we'd depart on our 3,000 mile passage across the mighty Pacific Ocean. Sometimes it seems impossible to feel truly ready for an undertaking like this. There's always one more thing to fix, one more port to wait for, or a better weather window on the horizon. But there's a famous saying that comes to mind every time we face this moment. A ship in the harbor is safe, but that's not what ships are built for. All we could do was trust in ourselves, trust in the boat, and be prepared to tackle the challenges as they come. And with conditions like these ahead of us, we were in for one hell of a shakedown cruise. Never. He's gonna come and pick up our boat. They're gonna go on the swing. Cool, huh? We often get asked how we paint underneath the jack stands. So the travel lift just came and lifted Delos up and then they came and moved the jack stands and this is what we have. So we have these little tiny squares yeah. on each side on the bow and then where the railroad ties under the keel. And so now uh, we, we sanded those a little bit and then we clean them and then we paint them. Oh. Uh, it only takes a few minutes. We gotta wait a little bit of time between each coat here we go. I've never been able to ride on the boat. Well, it's in the travel lift. This is awesome. I, I love Mexico. It's perfectly safe, right? Really? It's not like they're going to drop it. I'm super happy to say that this video is sponsored by AG1. So me and Brian have been drinking AG1 every day for over a year now. And it's a super quick and easy way for me to make sure that I get all my daily nutrients that my body needs and that I support my gut and my immune system all at the same time. It's my way of taking care of myself and I have a lot of issues with my gut and I've definitely noticed a difference after drinking AG1, which is amazing. It's made with 75 of the highest quality vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients in the world. One of my favorite parts is that it's so easy to make. Just eight ounces of water, one scoop of powder, shake, and that's it. It has a really nice kind of sweet fruity flavor. It's super easy to get started. You can click on the link in the description below or head on over to athleticgreens.com forward slash svdelos. You won't just support our project, but you will also get one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3 plus K2 drops, plus five travel packs free with your first purchase. So go and try it out and let me know what you think. And another thank you to AG1 for supporting this video. Now back to the show. They say it is, I trust them. Okay. I think they know their shit. <laughs> so as we get lower now, what are we looking out for? And I just want to see that the engine starts. I need to let the engine run for a few minutes because I've done so much work on that. And then I need to test the transmission. And if we've got no major leaks, the engine starts and the transmission works, then we can make it to the dock. With nothing more than a few minor drips and the engine purring like a kitten. Hey! We were ready to cast off the lines and maneuver our way over to the dock where we could give everything a closer look. But for now, we could all breathe a huge sigh of relief and celebrate having our ninth haul out on our trip around the world done and dusted. 
Yay! We did it, Nugs! We did it! We're a dog! Stop? Stop what? <laughs> We're in the water, Sierra! Our house is back in the water. Okay, time to get to work. No slacking on the job. Good morning. I just got to the boat and look what somebody left us. It's so sweet. It's like some delicious breakfast pastries and then there's this cooler just full of nice goodies. Ice <laughs> when there's something staring in the night. When life springs a leak, ease your fears. And of course, something to throw away all the beers and celebrate a new year for cheer. And then a very, very, very sweet note. Buenos dias, SV Delos. As longtime Delos followers, but recent additions to Mexico, we are stoked to cross paths. Here's a little morning treat to start your day off right. Please let us know if you need anything while you're here. Thanks for keeping it real, being an inspiration and kind souls in a small world. Smooth sailing and God bless. Alexis and Kevin. Aw, how very, very, very sweet. Thank you so much, guys. You brightened our morning here. <laughs> a little extra sunshine this morning was just what we needed because as excited as we were to get back on the road, we'd also be leaving behind some friends that had turned into family over the years. Bill and Grace aren't crossing the Pacific with us this year. So after three years, 8,000 miles, a pandemic, multiple hurricanes, and way too many adventures, beers, and memories to name, the time had finally come to say our goodbyes. This is it. This is it. Air hugs oh, Grace on the phone. Oh, Grace, we miss you so much. We already miss you. And it's, <laughs> we'll see you when we see you. We'll see you in the South Pacific though, okay? It's been so amazing. You're the longest and only buddy boat we've ever had. <laughs> I was thinking that it's almost like to the day, right? That, yeah. that flow in the Ragged Islands uh, when you guys were all anchored together. We were all anchored together. Yeah. We'll, we'll find a time and place to rendezvous again. I promise. Yeah. 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 Air hugs. Air hugs. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. And then where's the gift that Sierra made for Grace? Are you sad? Sierra she loves. How do you live? Grace, Grace is Sierra's <laughs> best friend. I know. She made Sierra made that for Grace. She's like, I'll, leave. Uh, I'll miss you guys. <laughs> We're gonna miss you too, man. Yay, sailing. Yay. Let's have some breakfast and then go. All right. All right, bye, love. We're all clear? Okay, here we go. She roars to life. Bye-bye, Marina. See you later, Cabrales. See you later, friends. Bye-bye, friends. Bye. I think this is like my, one of the favorite times on the start of every cruise is when, you know, we've got all of our paperwork done and the boat is fully provisioned and fully fueled and we just set out. We don't really have a destination and we're just going in one general direction. And I don't know, there's something like super kind of liberating and free about that. I really like that. Yeah. yeah. Me too. We can go anywhere we want, Kaz. <laughs> we have everything we need right here. We have here. food for like a month. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful day. The weather's amazing. And hopefully the wind will fill in from that direction. Yeah. And uh, we're going to go that direction, which is good. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> Pinasco. Right. Adios. Adios. Adios, Pinasco. We're headed that way. engine off. This feels really good. <laughs> this is what we've been waiting for for four months. Woo! Sierra, we're sailing. What do you think? You like it? Oh wow, are you gonna take all your stuff out? 
Oh. Wow. wow. How are you feeling, Cass? It's a little bit seasick. A little squishy? Yeah, it's definitely a little squishy. Well, the good news is that we were having a fantastic sale. It's so nice to be out here, and Delos is fast again. I know, I feel like the bottom makes a huge it difference. It makes a huge, we've, I think we've picked up probably a knot and a uh, half, and, and probably the, the, with the transmission yeah. fix, we've picked up another probably three quarters knot. So I think we're, yeah. we're at least one and a half knots faster minimum yeah. we just hit really like the wind came up to 15 knots for about four minutes and we were doing nine knots that is 15 wild. 15 true which is pretty good for this yeah. old tub <laughs> <laughs> this is it this is the conditions we have the kites flying nicely she's full look at that that's what we live for this is what all the hard work is for i'm gonna get a snack that's what should i have i don't know should i have Peanut butter and jelly? Oh. Should I have pulled pork? Or should I have a Coke and Girl Scout cookies? Uh, Maybe I'll have pulled pork. And then for dessert, I'll have a Coke and Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. It's settled then. Pay out. Pay yeah. out over here. Woohoo! We got Woo. nothing else to do. Nah. Get all fast. <laughs> just, just dust on this boat. <laughs> da -da -da. <laughs> The breeze was starting to get a little too strong for the kite, and as we began to take it down, we were interrupted by an unexpected visitor. What's it? It's a giant pelican. What is going on? We had one land on our boat last night too Ooh. in the storm, and it was hurt and died, unfortunately. But this one looks pretty healthy. Oh my God, Brian! They're such massive birds. What are you doing, mate? I don't know if it's okay. It looks better than the one yesterday. Oh, there he goes. I think he'll fly away if I get close to him. Hey, I'm trying to sail here. Here you go. <laughs> Aw, bye bye, friend. Bye. <laughs> Coming in for the land. <laughs> Under the watchful eye of our hitchhiker, we could now continue with our sail change. The wind had built to a solid 20 knots from behind, so it would be the perfect opportunity to set up the poles, which we hadn't done in quite some time. And we've put out the main sail just to keep speed, you know, give us some speed so that the boat can steer well with the autopilot, and then we can start out everything on deck. We'll do the lines for the pole, put the pole up, and then that'll be a much better and much more controllable situation for the night, right? Yeah. If the breeze continues to build, we don't want this guy up. No. We want the big, heavy Genoa, right, that we can reef? Yeah. Yeah, right about there. Okay, I'm gonna unfurl and Brian is gonna shake it up there. The wind and swell continued to build through the afternoon and we began the process of getting used to our rolly life at sea after spending so many months on solid ground. What are you doing, baby sailor? You have your sea legs? Yeah. Look at you, you're such a good walker. Okay, two hands, please. Da, da, da. Yeah, exactly, two hands, good job. Wow, Sierra, hold on, wave, ah, hold on. <laughs> you did it, you got your Nini. Look at the setup she has. <laughs> She's got cockpit enclosure, first of all. Mardi Gras necklace. That's very important for sailing. You get a bag of toys, winter hat, mini. What is this? Water. Oh, look at that meat, cheese, and carrot platter. You got an iPad that mommy is tied to the winch. That's genius. And a bowl of crackers. And cushions and blankets. And you have a sloth too. It's cold. It is cold. We're cruising too. Look at us. Are you happy to be sailing? Oh, waves! Crazy.
let the hoon down the boat. <laughs> Who let the hoon down the boat? Who let the doggy? We're not allowed to have dogs on board. Who let the dog on board? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Nay, nay, nay. So we actually changed our plans this morning <laughs> and we decided to keep going because the wind looks like it's going to be good for another day and then it's going to die to basically nothing for like a week or so. So we decided to push on through and just sail for another day and another night and then get there in the morning. Uh, and it feels good because then we're kind of like really taking advantage of the wind and then we can chill more in the spots that we go to and maybe go to a little bit fewer places. I like that too, stay longer in the places and sail for longer. This is episode three, the final dive. about three o'clock in the afternoon and uh, it's picked up to about 30 knots so we reefed the sail, O'Brien reefed the sail. I fell asleep for a bit so I told O'Brien to take a little nap since he hasn't really slept much at all but it's windy out here and it's cold. It was hard to believe that these were the same waters we'd sailed through months earlier. Our experience traveling up through the Sea of Cortez was hot, sweaty, and with the exception of a major hurricane or two that passed by us, mostly windless and calm. And now here we were, bundled up from head to toe and absolutely flying along with the strong northerlies that funnel down between the mountainous peninsula and mainland Mexico this time of year. And while the Sea of Cortez is protected from the Pacific ground swells, the wind against current and quite a bit of fetch can actually create some surprisingly serious sea states. It was a bit of a shock throwing ourselves right into it, but it was also invigorating to feel the power of the wind and the ocean once again. Putting yourself in the elements like this makes you feel truly alive. It's easy to get comfortable after spending a few months on land, but a day in conditions like these makes you push all that aside and feel ready to experience it all. It's wild out here. Yeah. There's some massive waves. I could feel them hitting the boat when I was sleeping. Yeah. There's some being some huge like swell coming through, and they just like hit the back and yeah. It's. I mean, it's blowing a solid 25-30 for the last three hours when I've been up. So. Yeah. It's a hell of a shakedown cruise. I know. <laughs> Good luck out here. Oh, it's so cold. Guys. I know. Jeez. Okay, go get snuggly. I'll freeze out here for a while. What a sail, huh? Yeah. That was a hell of a shakedown in sail. <laughs> uh, yeah, we did really good. We were getting in here first light. Found this little anchorage that looked cool. It's called uh, a Bahia Conception. It's also called Coyote Bay on the other charts. I don't know, it just seems like a cool place to maybe rest, take a couple days and explore, regroup, sleep. Yeah. yeah. We made uh, just over 300 miles, so. That's amazing. Yeah. It was fast. It was fast, yeah. Dropping. Up next on Delos, we get back into the groove of life on the hook. We find an awesome natural hot spring and continue our sails south. But we're actually on a shakedown cruise, so we're really not that surprised when things begin to break. <laughs> Are you looking for Grace? Yeah, I know. Bill usually comes with Grace, but she's not here right now. Can you use it? There are some leaks. There are some leaks? <laughs> Definitely some leaks. Oh. But we're not sinking. Well, we're always sinking, but just very slowly. Mommy. Oh, you have a snotty nose? 